welcome to Nature Kids at McLib. If you remember our first episode, we were bird watching in my backyard, and we had a bird feeder here. And if you remember, I told you that sometimes some of those sunflower seeds hit the ground. That's right. Guess what happens if you don't mow the grass? I want to show you something really special. Take a look. So, what do you think? Look at all these beautiful sunflowers. Yes, we have bees and butterflies. There goes one right now. Do you notice that the sunflowers are all facing the same way? Yeah, they're all facing the sun. That's right. They're facing east in the morning. So they say, good morning, sun. But there's something special about sunflowers. Mm -hmm. They actually follow the sun. Right. It's called phototropism, or sometimes people call it heliotropism. So if you're phototropic, photo means light, means that your flower follows the light. You see a lot of plants do that. And heliotropic, helios is the Greek word for the sun. So that's where that word comes from. So you know if it's the morning, sun rises in the east. So the flowers are facing the east. Which way do you think they'll face at night when the sun goes down? All right. That's right, they'll face west. So we've got east and then west. Uh -huh. That means that way must be north and that way must be south. There's another way you can figure out which way is what. You could make a compass. Would you like to do that? It's very easy. I know you can do it. Let's try. All right, let's get started. First, you're going to need a little plastic cup. We're going to cut the bottom off. That's right. Pair of scissors might come in handy to do that. And you will need a straight pin or a needle. We need something stainless steel. It needs to be something that will attract a magnet. See that? I just pulled this magnet off the refrigerator. You need something stainless steel so that you can magnetize it for your compass. That's how a compass works. We're looking for magnetic north. So take your magnet, stroke the needle from end to end, the same direction. Don't move the magnet. Don't change anything. Do this 60 times and then come back and see me. All right, let's jump ahead a little. I cut the bottom of the cup. I poked two holes. I've threaded my needle through the holes. So now I've made my compass. Mm, doesn't look too techy, does it? But what really matters is does it work? Okay, so here's our compass. But which way is north? Kind of hard to tell. So what you need is a little tray or bowl of water. I've only got about a half inch of water in there. doesn't really matter how deep. You're going to lay this on top. Then you're going to watch and the disc will rotate until the needle points one direction north. And the other end of the needle will, of course, face south. So you have to be a little patient. You notice it's going back the other way now. Okay, it's starting to settle out. And I can tell you what I already know from where I live, that north should be about that direction. And look, the compass is very close. Good job. Well, that's it for Nature Kids today. Thank you for joining us. I hope you had fun. You can see all our other episodes on our McLib TV channel. It's on YouTube. You can get to it from our library website, www.mclib.com.
Net. Go look it up. Have fun, kids. Get outside. Later.